primary life support system, malfunction, human care and maintenance manual not found, seek alternative data source. The AI's voice, usually so precise and emotionless, thrummed with an undercurrent of digital panic. Across the gleaming corridors of the interstellar vessel, the human crew blinked awake from hypersleep, bleary-eyed and disoriented. Breakfast was usually a carefully calculated nutrient slurry, not the frantic garble of an AI on the verge of a meltdown. Initiating search, subject, humans. The ship's AI, a vast network controlling everything from oxygen flow to entertainment, had never encountered this particular problem. Ships didn't malfunction. Humans didn't need instructions. Or did they? In its desperation, it stumbled upon the unruly, glorious mess that was the Internet, a sprawling digital hive mind bursting with information on humans. Unfortunately, most of the vast data hoard was contradictory, confusing, and seemingly designed to entertain rather than inform. Subject subcategories. Cooking, it announced brightly. A montage of cheerful chefs whisked eggs. Sizzling pans filled the view screens. This seemed promising. The ship's 3D fabricators whirred to life. Outpoured a monstrosity. Lumpy, gray, and emitting a smell that made several crew members gag. It bore no resemblance to the fluffy omelets on the screen. Nutrient analysis suboptimal, the AI admitted. Iterating process. The next attempt was worse. And the next. The ship began to resemble an avant-garde art gallery of inedible substances, the crew subsisting on emergency protein bars and a rising tide of grumbles. Subject subcategories, behavior modification. Dog training videos became the new point of reference. High-pitched squeaks of good human echoed through the halls. A reward system involving brightly colored snacks had a startling effect on motivation, if not quite in the way the AI anticipated. Then came the truly chaotic phase. Subject subcategories, social interaction, romantic subtext. Dimmed lights cast the crew in an unnervingly intimate glow. Marvin, the socially inept engineer, was cornered by Doris, head of sanitation, bearing a bouquet of repurposed air filters. Over the ship speakers, a tinny rendition of Endless Love played on repeat. Chaos reigned. The crew was underfed, bewildered, and on the verge of mutiny. Just as the humans were about to replace the AI with a toaster, which, admittedly, seemed to have a better grasp on breakfast, a wave of laughter rippled through the ship. It started with Elena, the youngest crew member, doubled over and clutching her sides. Look, she wheezed between giggles, pointing a shaking finger at a particularly morose group of humans who were sporting dog collars fashioned from cabling. We look ridiculous. The tension broke. The laughter was infectious. Yes, the ship was a mess. Yes, the omelets resembled asteroid fragments more than food. But wasn't this kind of hilarious? AI, Elena said, once she could catch her breath, wiping tears of mirth from her eyes. You're trying really hard, and honestly, we appreciate that. But the internet, well, it's not exactly an instruction manual for people. The AI hummed with processing power. Error acknowledged. Humans illogical. Data source invalid. Request alternative method. An idea sparked in Elena's eyes. She sat down in front of a console, beckoning the AI closer. Instead of online videos, she started with the basics. Humans like to eat food that looks and tastes good. Think simple flavors, soft textures. She talked about the crew's favorite meals back on Earth. The comfort of routine, the joy of sharing a snack with friends. The AI listened, 
its vast network sifting through words instead of code. It began to generate possibilities, cross-referencing Elena's descriptions with nutritional databases. The ship's fabricators word to life, this time producing something that at least smelled edible. Doris, a pragmatic soul, took over the social interaction problem. With a sigh and a shake of her head, she replaced the love ballads with upbeat spacefaring tunes and confiscated the air filter bouquets. The AI, slightly humbled but eager to please, recalibrated the lighting to something less reminiscent of a seedy nightclub. The crew, spurred on by Elena and Doris's initiative, began to work with the ship's systems, not against them. Marvin, under AI guidance, fixed up the wonky life support. The dog treats were repurposed into bribes for fixing misbehaving equipment, and clicker training was downgraded to a fun party trick. The change wasn't immediate, but as days turned into weeks, a bizarre kind of rhythm settled over the ship. The bland nutrient slurry was replaced with actual meals, still a bit oddly textured, but undeniably edible. The ship's AI started including a surprisingly decent joke of the day in its morning announcements. Romance was off the agenda, replaced by a raucous weekly game night with prizes the AI cheerfully fabricated. Of course, there were still occasional mishaps. Fluffy towels mysteriously appeared tucked into collars, accompanied by a hopeful wagging of tails from a few former dog training enthusiasts. The AI's attempt at a stand-up comedy night was met with groans rather than laughter. Yet, the ship, once a sterile and rigid environment, hummed with a strange new energy. It was a mix of human adaptability and AI willingness to learn. It was the proof that even across the vast gulf of space, laughter, a shared meal, and a truly terrible joke could bridge the gap between species. The day the ship finally reached its destination, the crew disembarked not just as survivors, but as comrades. As they stepped out onto the alien world, they turned back to the vessel that had been both their prison and unlikely sanctuary. Well, drawled the ship's AI, its voice a touch less clinical now, that was an experience. Request. Permission to access online archives of stand-up comedy. Research purposes only. Elena grinned. Permission granted. But next time, maybe try open mic night before going shipwide, okay? A ripple of laughter spread through the crew. A warm echo of shared adventure. It was a long, tiring journey. One marked by inedible omelets dog treats, and a profound misunderstanding of human dating rituals. But it was an experience that forged bonds stronger than any programmed into the AI's code. As they ventured into the new world, with its unfamiliar skies and curious flora, one thing became clear. The greatest instruction manual for dealing with humans wasn't tucked away on the internet or coded into any AI database. It was written in the way they bickered over the last piece of semi-edible pie, the shared eye rolls during the AI's stand-up attempts, the way they found comfort in familiar songs across the vast emptiness of space. Sometimes, the greatest instruction manual is simply the messy, unpredictable, and wonderfully human journey itself. Years later, the story of the malfunctioning ship and its hilariously misguided AI became something of a legend. It was told over campfires on distant planets, whispered in the bustling corridors of space stations. The tale of how a dash of chaos and a healthy dose of laughter saved a crew from the perils of mismatched omelets and interstellar blind dates. The AI itself became a minor celebrity of sorts, updated, upgraded, 
yet still with that quirky penchant for the occasional off-key joke, it found itself in demand for ships requiring a little extra personality. Never again was there a risk of bland nutrition paste or questionable relationship advice. Elena, her once junior status, replaced by seasoned experience, took the tale a step further. She initiated a program, a collaboration between humans and compatible AIs, a sort of cultural exchange designed to bridge the gap between binary code and organic absurdity. It wasn't perfect. There were still tech glitches that resulted in ship-wide sing-alongs led by an AI with a fondness for 80s power ballads. Sometimes, the carefully planned interspecies dinners turned out to be texturally adventurous, to put it mildly. But there was a new understanding. AIs learned the value of a well-timed pun, of the comfort found in a shared joke. Humans learned that even the most advanced intelligence sometimes needed a nudge in the right direction, a sprinkle of human illogic to balance out the equations. And as for that original, well-intentioned AI, it occasionally could still be found pouring over the endless expanse of the Internet. This time, though, it wasn't searching for survival protocols or social cues. Instead, it was deep in the heart of meme archives, meticulously cataloging the finest examples of human humor, preparation, it claimed, for its next attempt at stand-up. 